All right, here we are, folks. We're live, and we're coming at you from downtown Disney. We're just running some errands before our uh, workshop that starts tonight. So uh, let us know what you want to see. We're just going to do a little walkthrough and uh, see what's uh, happening. So personal growth is habit number one. Two real differences between people who are highly successful and people that are not. And it's the way they think and how they spend their time. And so this one deals very specifically with your mind and, um, and how your mind works. If you don't take care of what goes into your garden, you're not gonna like the crop that grows up. All right, here we are in the elevator. We finally made it. It's, uh, what time is it? Like? After midnight. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost one o'clock. But we're here at our hotel across the street from this Disneyland. Way. We're going this way? Yeah, 339. What is it? 339. 339. So hopefully we'll get Scott a little McDonald's. bit of sleep. We always forget our hotel room. Last night was 367. Um, this might be getting dizzy. 339, you said? Yeah. Okay. We got this. 339. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh, that's fancy right there. Ooh. Oh, it's nice. This one deals with your lifestyle. The day-to-day -day things that you do, uh, that people see you do every day, this is your lifestyle. Your number one marketing tool also is the lifestyle that you lead. If you own a Ford dealership, you don't drive a Chevy to work. If you lead the lifestyle that you, you want to, people are going to want a piece of that action. We have two dinners that we're taking our Ultimate Achievers on. And so we're going to figure out which restaurant we're going to take them to and book it today. So we've got, this looks interesting. Never been here. It's like a Cajun style jazz. Jazz, yeah. The first night we're going to need to have a place where we can actually do part of our workshop at. The second night is going to be more eventful. Black and blue filet. Or over here. So the first night we're going to need to have like a private room or some type of room where... We just know. need to be able to have a, a, a discussion, a talk over dinner. Yeah. That is very similar, yeah. Whatever the, the skills that it takes to do what it is that you do, you should always be working at getting better because you want to be the best in your space. This is called Katal. What's an uva bar? I don't know. What's an uva? So, uva, uva breakfast sandwich. Scrambled eggs, bacon, cheddar, spicy ketchup, brioche bun, pickled potato. I don't know which of those ingredients are uvas. Last question. Uh, what's a uva? Uva is a Spanish for grapes. It's for our downstairs oh, area. Oh, grapes. Ah. Uh, it's a yeah. Okay. It used to be a wine bar, but now Vino. it's just a everything bar. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. There's lots and lots that's been written about the, the mastermind in all time. I think Napoleon Hill probably coined the phrase. A mastermind is made up of people. Number one, your mentors. I think should be part of your mastermind. And notice I said mentors and not mentor. I think it's important to have more than one mentor because you can have mentors in different areas of your life. Also, I think in order to be truly good at your craft, you should teach it to other people. And so I also include what I call the inner circle, people that you are uh, that you are mentoring. So I often include those in your tribe. And then I also believe that your spouse or your significant other should probably be part of your tribe. Not always, not necessarily, but in my case, it works really well. And then wrapped around your tribe, uh, wrapped around your mastermind, is your uh, um, higher power, God, universe, whatever, whatever you call it, whatever you want to. If you believe in that sort of thing, I think that should be all encompassing. All right, folks, here we are at the uh, Uva Bar, the restaurant. We're at Downtown Disney. We're having dinner. Here's the. Uh, everybody say hi. From Ultimate Achievers. Yeah. Uh -huh. We got this perfect table overlooking uh, downtown Disney, downtown Disney here. And we are, the fireworks are about to start, and they're going to show up right there. So, what I'm going to do 
is I am going to set this up on the tripod so you guys can sit and watch the fireworks with us. For me, habit number five is kind of the reward. I love the feeling that I get when I can pay it forward. Imagine what kind of place the world would be if we created a movement and every day we had hundreds of thousands of people every day got up and looked for ways to pay it forward. Here's the thing, if you didn't have the habit of every day going out there and paying it forward and adding value to other people, going the extra mile, and, and that's what you do and you focus on that when you need something, the universe will be beating a path to your door to help you with what you need. And that is the, uh, the law of reciprocity. <laughs>